What is up, you beautiful people? Stone here, and today we are back in our Pokemon Violet Nuzlocke playthrough part 48. If you want to know what Nuzlocke rules I'm playing with, go down there in the description and check them out. And while you're down there, click all the shallow stuff, the likes, the comments, the subscribes, and even the bells. I would muchly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, you are the best. Right now we are on the Cascarata Trail. I just read it, and I'm already kind of forgetting what it's like. Is there an automatic map button? I think there is, but I've been clicking the pokedex one we're still on our catching arc of the the uh the, the whole fiasco is a so correct so correct trail what did i say cast correct something there's a lot of pokemon around here there was a uh star raptor at the end of the last part that i wanted to scoop up but i was like nah that's not on screen and it's not a i don't think it's a very rare poke we should be able to see it around here but around this trail there are so many pokes that we don't have that we can scoops up so why not we let's do we got pseudo wudos we got this what the heck kind of dance are we doing i also am very sleep deprived right now i'm trying to swap up my sleep schedule i'm trying to rearrange it fix it shove my foot in my ass so i could get some work going because i i need to get stuff done and this isn't how you get stuff done oh paralyzed confused weakened yes thank you little bit off to a rough start, but hopefully that ends. Hopefully the next couple will be right quick. What's it say about your single horn Pokemon? With its Herculean powers, it can easily throw around an object that is a hundred times its own weight. A hundred times? I'm not about to sit here and do math. Wait, just add two zeros. Ten thousand pounds? Damn! Okay. Um, what's, uh, ooh, I like your, your, it looks angry on your photo there. Do we, we don't have a pseudo wudo, right? Like, wait, crow eyes, let me pick that rindo berry up. They be booking it like the chances. The freaking the dust comes up off the ground, all cartoon style. That's not what we need right there. No bug, no netball, no bu bug ball. There, we want the quick ball. We want, we want some critical capture today. Why, why, why? It looks pretty damn dark out to me. Oh, there we go! Dude, I was just saying, I've thrown like several dusk balls at this thing. It didn't even rock three times. I just kept getting lucky for that critical capture I talked about it earlier. We got it. The imitation Pokemon. To avoid being attacked, it does nothing but mimic a tree. It hates water and flees from rain. Well, it's raining right now. Does that mean we can't find any more pseudo mudos out here in the wilderness? We had a little dude watching us. We also got, oh, we can find whole ass slackings here. Do we dare? I don't know if I dare. I'm a little bit worried. Let's catch some of these first. Dude, there's a Leveon down there. Do we have a Leveon? We do have a Leveon. I remember reading about it. It said some stuff about like the older it gets, the more like fallen or dead leaves it smells. Where is my quick balls? There we go. Catch this little fungi among us. The fungus is among us. One, dos, tres. Oh yeah, finally. We got a quickie. We got an easy one. Now we need more Amoonguses and that uh, perhaps per that slacking if that uh, Amoongus ran too far away. The mushroom Pokemon, you don't say. This Pokemon prefers damp places. It sprouts out poison spores to repel approaching enemies. It didn't do that to me. No siree. Oh, Stantler is in this game. Yeah, I say that because I was just doing something. There's a fortress. Do I do I take on this boy? I'm take I'm taking him on. I feel like we are at full health. If he slaps us hard, he slaps us hard. But hopefully we'll just quick ball him and that'll be the end of it. Yeah, I got some projects in the works. I've been doing a lot of research and things, and oh my goodness! I couldn't one catch a pseudo wudo or a heracross, but you're gonna tell me I'm gonna get a slacking with a base power total of 670? I know that because of the research I've been doing, because there's a couple, yeah, like I said, there's some things in the works. I got, I got things planned I need to do. Lazy Pokemon. This Pokemon lives lying on its side. It only rolls over and moves when there is no more grass to eat. Or when it's attacking things. What are you talking about? Is that thing 6-7 on its side? Or when it actually stands up? I want to see one standing up. That would be a lot more menacing. Hey, I like I like that you do this. This is cool. But get down off of the tree. I want to fight you. I want to... What the... Can I... There we go. Throw him at him. Hey, pay attention to me. Dude, Fortress is one of the Pokemon in this game that I think looks the best. Like, oh, there's something about the shiny metallicness. Oh, 
Wait, oh, I thought it was a critical capture, but it's just staying in the air because I guess he was up high, so the ball is up high. The ball sets their own standards. Hey, there we go. Fortress, what's it say about you? Can we catch a pine cone around here? The bagworm Pokemon. It is a bagworm. Its entire body is shielded by a steel hard shell. What lurks inside the shell is a total mystery. Eyes. You mean to tell me nobody ever has tried to eat a fortress or crack it open just because of science? We already got that. Let, wait, let me just check. I can do this. Yeah, we already have a leafy. You can just look at it if you hit the left trigger or whatever it's called in this game. There's another slacking. Wait, let me get this item that's in front of you. Thank you. Oh, there's the saws buck. I can get me one of those. I already got a deerling, but I ain't got one of you. From the backside. That means we're going to have two free chances to throw balls at you. If you take a Pokemon off guard, they can't do anything on their first turn of attack. Does that also make them more likely to get caught in a ball first try? That would be cool. Oh, another critical capture! Saw's book, one of my favorite Pokemon. I don't know about the Autumn Form. I think Autumn Form is my least favorite. Just because I think all the leaves is a little bit too much. He looks, it looks a bit top-heavy, the Autumn Form. Uh, the season Pokemon. Sawsbuck in their autumn form are known for having very short tempers. The males fight each other incessantly. That sounds like how deers are in real life. It isn't like autumn during the mating season or some such nonsense. What is that? Nothing I need? Nope. We got Fomantis and Lurantis. Did I, I haven't had either one of those? What? What? We're gonna, we're catching, oh, this trail is big. This trail is so great for my Pokedex. Get in there. Come on, first try, you can do it. Hey, if I can catch a slacking in the first shot, you better, oh, running around. It looks kind of like a circus person. Like, I, I don't know which person, but I feel like those are like the long man pants, the people that wear like the long, the stilt legs, the sickle grass Pokemon. Many trainers give their Fomantis their own flower pot so they can sunbathe in peace and quiet. You mean they, so they put them in a plant pot? They just sit there? There was just a Lorantis. Oh, there you are. Heller. Can I throw this against your back so you get surprised? So maybe I catch you easier? Yeah, sounds like good, good, good. Why why is he sunken down there? I don't want to be over there. This is a bad angle. Well, for him anyway. Un is that our third critical capture? What? I know f through other research I did that the if you catch a Pokemon once, the next time, it, like if you already have it registered in your Pokedex, it is like so, it's va I don't know the numbers, but it's, it's like vastly easier to get a critical capture on like the same Pokemon. Like, since I caught a Lurantis, if I catch more Lurantis, it's going to be, like, the odds of getting a critical capture are so much higher. A lot of time and Wait, you're the Bloom Sickle Pokemon. A lot of time and effort is required to maintain the vivid colors of its petals. This Pokemon puts its trainer's attentiveness to the test. Well, I need one of you, because I don't have a lot of attentiveness. Oh, almost three foot tall, 40 pounds. You're a good one right there. I don't have a cloth yet. Wait, get off. Get, no. Hey, Raichu. Yeah, that's one thing when I was doing my research, I totally forgot. Hey, stop. I, I didn't mean to talk to you. My crow eyes want me to pick this up. That I didn't even know. I think I remember seeing Pikachu, like, in the beginning of this game, but it didn't really register. But I love Raichu. I want to use Raichu in a playthrough. It looks so good. So fluffy. So hairy. Cuddly. Hey. Hey, talk nice things, get good things. I don't know what was happening in the beginning of this part, but jeez, things are going so much better. Thank you, thank you. Got some Pichu fur. The mouse Pokemon. If the electric pouches in its cheeks become fully charged, both ears will stand straight up. Aren't they not so much? Even so, they're like this, you would say. So they go like this? That would be odd to see a Raichu with its ears up like that, but I want to see it. What's your picture? <gasps> so happy. Next to like solar panels? Hey, Namungus! I totally forgot about you. We fought, we found you in the beginning. You ran away somehow. I don't even know how you ran. I didn't even see how you ran. I just noticed he was going away. Yeah, they're like hopping. Hey, you little hoppy dudes. Bye, Funguses. Gotta catch your big old Namungus partner. Hey, right. yeah. Let's go. We're in. Oh, we wanted it. We wanted it. Making it easy. It's we caught an Namungus at night during the full Moongus. 
That'd be cool if the moons changed uh, in this game, but you, you can't ask for everything. A mushroom Pokemon, Amoongus mimics Pokeballs. It is not yet clear whether this mimicry is effective against other Pokemon. Probably not. It's it's weird. Why? What kind of what kind of nature? Why would evolution tell you to look like a thing that's man-made unless it's been around for a very like you'd have to be around for a very long time for something like that to happen, like thousands of years at least, at least. I think evolution takes like millions of years, but I don't know. I'm not an aging doctor. I'm not an evolution doctor. Wait, what the heck? I'm up here on one of the mountains. I didn't know you could find a bramble ghast. A whole ass bramble ghast? Lying in wait up here? Just while it's doing that, I'm just scooching in a little bit. Let's throw this at you, brambly boy. You ain't running away from me. Blame the wind, will ya? No, you ain't. Oh, no, I'm talking crap. He didn't like that. I'm sorry. We gotta catch him now. He put a curse on me. There we go. Paralyzed. He was at half health due to his own shenaniganery. That's what you get, Bramble Gas. It's funny to see these spite ops in the background just doing their thing. Before he was just walking sideways and making stuff. Tumbleweed Pokemon. Bramble Gas wanders around arid regions. On rare occasions, mass outbreaks of these Pokemon will bury an entire town. Oh my goodness! Wait, I want to know of an, something. What? Is there an actual tale about that? One of the towns? Tell me more. Is there anything else up here? Doesn't look like it. What the? There is a... Slacking being surrounded by funguses, though. For all slabs, we're making it up. Casseroya Lake. What? Casseroya Lake's like over there. Not over here. Don't run away from me. Yes, I will fight you. Don't steal or suck my soul out there, lady. Because I know you're based on lady ghosts that get stuck in the mountains and die and then kill people. So that's not very fun for anybody. But if you're getting this ball real right quick, that'd be fun. I mean, the moon's in the background looking cool and whatnot. Up in the air with it. Yeah, yeah, up in the air with it. Love it. And there's a bear tick I saw over there. Now, is it bear tick? Because bear tick just doesn't sound like a creative name, but be arctic. Like, which one? Which? How do you pronounce it? Or how do you want to pronounce it? Like, I used to pronounce Medicam. Or Medicham, Medicham, but then I heard somebody say Medicam, and for some reason I like that better, so I've been saying Medicam. The Snowland Pokemon. It freezes prey by blowing its f not minus 58 degree Fahrenheit breath. It is said to then secretly display its prey. Oh no, in caves? Oh, you're just like that freaking lady from uh, Sun and Moon. Oh no, the freaky mom with the long hair has everything. Wait, dude, I don't have a Glalie either? Probably no. There was just a, there was just a bear tick here, and then he just ceases to exist. What up with that? Get in the ball there, boy. You and your strong jaw having behind it. Yeah, yeah, you like it. Oh no! What? Why did I have to say that? Oh wait. Oh, I was I was like I was making sure the recording was good. I looked back over, and it just already already caught. Like ooh, I thought that was the first dusk ball I threw. It. A paralyzed dusk ball did it handy. The face really. You're just the face, Pokemon? I get it, you're just a head, but can't you be the head? You're more than just a face there, guy. It prevents prey from escaping by instantaneously freezing moisture in the air. Dang. You're almost 600 pounds of a floatiness? What is inside you? Ice doesn't weigh that much, does it? I mean, every gallon of water weighs approximately 8 pounds. At least I think. Wait, 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 wait. Look what I f This is the most obscure spot I've ever seen one of these steaks in. Hello? May I take? Don't munch on it. It's not that kind of steak. I will rip it out of the ground, though. This is cool. When you pulled out the steak, it crumbled and vanished. You gonna tell me something cool? No, but if my sneaking suspicions are true, I need to check something once I'm done catching everything here. Wait, what are we gonna catch? I don't know why... Long pause. Wait, we have a graveyard. Grievard. We already did that. The bear tick was down here. I don't think I have a cub chew. No, I do not. Hey there, little guys. Don't you all run away at once. I already have a satoodle too. Nine is one of our partners. I think they're in our party here. You can have this. Little snotties. But that snotties is actually their nutrients that they don't need that they're saving for later. Is the Pokedex going to talk about it here too? Or you can tell me something I don't know about Cub Chews. Because I know everything there is to know about Cub Chews up till now. 
Let's see. Can we get learn the chill Pokemon? I didn't know it's the chill Pokemon. When Cubchoo starts sneezing, watch out. If it splatters you with its frosty snot, you'll get frostbit. Instantaneously? No, I don't want. Oh no! Did you see that? That was one of the best things I've seen today. Oh, that made my day. Seeing Cubchoo just do that. If you ever upset, just look at a Cubchoo like that. Oh, that was so amazing. Okie dokie. Now, Bear Tick, can you get in the ball just as fast as the little friend there? Little snotty boy? Oh, no, I shouldn't have called him a little snotty boy. You don't like that. I swear he's more than a little snotty boy. Ow! Paralyzed at night. Gets him every time. That's my strategy. Um, That's not suspicious at all. That's not redactable behavior. Leave it in. What are the? What's up with those... Spews over there, the freezing Pokemon. Feared as the snow white demon in northern lands, Bertic uses its frosty claws and fangs to attack prey. Well, I would have thought that already. Give me something I don't know, like something about its beard or why its crotch is so tufty. Hey, Frostmoth, get over here. I'll throw these balls right at your booty. If you even have a booty. I don't even know if you have a booty. You know something I learned about moths? recently is apparently a lot not i don't think all moths but a lot of moths i'll say like 80 percent just throw out a number there because why not throwing out numbers is fun sometimes that once they turn in once the once they're that caterpillar or what even is it a caterpillar do caterpillars is that just the first form of like a lot of different things butterflies moths well anyway this is the frost moth Pokemon. It causes blizzards as it flies around with its huge, chill, emanating wings. Clean meltwater is its favorite thing to drink. Clean meltwater? You mean just like melted snow? Well, yeah, apparently moths can't eat, so, and they can't drink. So once, once they evolve into a moth, it's just kaput, just like this situation right now. Man, that's kind of whack. I was hoping this thing was going to be open. Apparently, like, do you need two per one chain? I saw this earlier at the beginning of the part, like I knew this was here, and I checked on it, and it had the one chain left, so I was like, oh cool, and then we just found that one over there, and I was like, this is gonna be gone, and, oh man, I was hoping I could find this, it would've been, I was like, should we catch these now, or wait to do them all in one part, now, I was thinking about doing it to break up the, the episode, but now I'm just thinking, like, if it's not open, I might as well just do it as one part, oh man, I got so excited here for a second. Hey, whoa, a spirit tomb. I was just thinking like, it was crazy that that one thing was just on the side of the mountain and you can just find whole ass to Titans too. Oh, we're in the big money, but we already have a Titan. but I didn't know you could just find it. It seems like you can find everything in this game. You don't have to evolve any Pokemon. You can just go around getting everything. I mean, I don't know about a Volcarona or a Salamance, but I have seen like, there could be a spot. Like I just found a spot for a Titan. I know where to find a Garchomp. I know where to find Dragonites. It seems like there's multiple places to find Dragonite for some reason. And I don't even think any trainers use Dragonite though, and they're so pre prevalent. Like even the Dragonairs are too, and Dratinis. They're like common in this game. What's up with that? Forbidden Pokemon. It was formed by uniting 108 spirits. It has been bound to the odd keystone to keep it from doing any mischief. I really liked its um the quest you had to do in Pokemon Arceus, oh man, I haven't played that game in so long, I wanna, I wanna play it again, but I don't know what I'd do. I wanna do something fun, because, oh, it was a great game. Hey, Bergmite, little guy, there's so many floaty Pokemon around here, I have them all, oh, is that a Deli Bird over there, I don't got me a Deli Bird, don't run away. Remember fighting, oh, and there's a Sneasel too, do we have a Sneasel? I don't know if we have a Sneasel, we might, can you find Weavile? So I don't have to use a weird uh, move. And Mike, why are you slowly creeping on me? It's because I'm shaking around so much. I got all this. I'm like, y you ever get so overtired? You kind of, you know, you hit like this threshold and you all of a sudden you just get like so much energy all of a sudden. I feel like that's kind of where I'm at right now. Ice Chunk Pokemon. Bergmite protects itself by coating its body in ice formed by frigid air of minus 148 degrees Fahrenheit. It fights with Frigibax where whenever they meet, you're gonna fight with a Dragon Ice type. I mean, you could probably take him. I mean, no, Ice resists Ice, and, and so that's good. Actually, you're on an even playing field there, my friendo. But still, uh, negative 148. Why do you even need to get that cold? What is your problem? Oh, there's also Snorunt. I caught a Frostlass and a Glalie before I caught a uh, Snorunt. Where'd that Delibird go? 
There's also snowvers all over the place. Or not snowvers, um... Um, what is that? What are those? Snowvers. Yes, there we go. Snow run, snowvers. Did I say snowvers? I don't know. But we got a critical chapter. What is that? Like number four? Number four today? We're getting so many of the easy breezes. Oh, Shogun needs one more level. Snow hat Pokemon. It is said that a home visited by a snow rat will prosper. It can withstand cold of negative 150 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know why, but like when Hone first came out as a kid, like Snorrent was like one of my favorite Pokemon, but you couldn't get him until so late in the game. It sucks like how late in a lot of games, um, like the cold areas are for whatever reason. It's like, I know ice is good offensive, but make a region where like maybe even like the second gym is ice or something. That would be very neat and very cool. And I would very much like that. It'd be splendiferous, splend, dopenestificus. Do I have you? Does the Pokeball pop up here too? It it doesn't look like you have a Pokeball here, so I'm going to try catch it. I'm going to do it. Don't think I won't. And that Deli Bird came back. Oh, no. Of course you have to make this difficult. Come on, you little rapscallion. It's in the ball. There we go. Woot woot. We gotcha. Two Ultra Balls there. I always feel weird when I'm using Ultra Balls now because I feel like there's usually a better situation. Maybe I should wait until night times to make it easier on myself because a two times chance with an Ultra Ball to catch as versus, what is it, like a, at least a, I think it's at least a three or a 3.5 times if you're at night using the Dusk Ball. Sharp Claw Pokemon. This is a smart and sneaky Pokemon. A pair may work together to steal eggs by having one lure the parents away. That is evil, but I guess you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. They're out here in these streets. Oh man, just vibing. Hey, you, Mr. Snover. And that Deli Bird's gone again. It met me twice, but during battle, snow warning, but it failed. Oh, because it's. Is, are we already doing the thing? You got more defenses? Does that mean it's going to be harder to catch you? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think stats raising or lowering has anything to do with catching, but if it did, that'd be pretty cool. More ways to get better catch rates, unless the wild Pokemon just sets up like crazy. Using Dragon Dance, Iron Defense, Quiver Dancing, all the dances. Frost Tree Pokemon. Seemingly curious about people, they gather around footsteps they find on snowy mountains. And then what? They're just because they're curious? Do they investigate? Do they follow? Do they just like looking at things? I mean, the snow prints are going to disappear soon if you, it's so snowy out here. Everything's gonna get covered up. Even that deli bird, I bet he's underground. He's been buried. Hey, Obama Snow. You're no deli bird, but I'll take you there, friendo. Did I catch you off guard? You got all exclamation pointy, but maybe that just means that you're like, oh, there he is. Why do you keep saying, but it failed? Just don't activate or something. Say it's already working. You say, but it failed. That's such a negativo, and we're not negativo up in here. Neither's Obama Snow. He likes the way I'm talking. He gets in the ball. There we go. You gotta get that PMA. There we are. Do I see a deli bird around? No, he's not. The frost tree Pokemon also. They appear when the snow flowers bloom. When the petals fall, they retreat to places unknown again. Unknown, you say. Very mysterious themselves. So you so you grow up being curious about things and then and then you wait. Yeah. Whoa, what the frick? My throat was doing a weird thing all of a sudden. No, you, you, so you get born into this life very curious about the mysteries, and then when you get fully grown, you are the mystery people are curious about. I like it. Oh, there's the deli bird. If I can climb up this freaking mountain, there we go. Almost fell off a few times. There you are, little guy. Mr. Santa? It's past that, but it, we're okay still. What are we? Like a week away from the new year? Hey, get in the ball. You like it either way. Any time of the year, you're giving presents. You don't care. It's your job. You love it. It's not a job, actually. It's a... Uh, what do people say when they like their job? It's not a career. It's not a job. It's not work. I don't know where it's right now. He wants it. He's got it. We wants it. We got him. We're a good team together now. We're doing it. Filling up that them there Pokedex. We got his parcel. <gasps> The first, that's the, only the second time ever I've read in this game since the very beginning. We're giving out parcels or we're collecting them. The delivery Pokemon. It always carries its food with it wherever it goes. If attacked, it throws its food at the opponent. That's one way to get away. Either you'll hit them and you'll just distract them or they'll just be like, Hey, free food. I'm going to eat this right now. Thanks, buddy. And there's an Avalog. I was just thinking about you. 
If you are more common in the waters or what lot, if you're here, you make a nice table. I still stand by that. I really, I would like to have, I, I need to look it up to see, somebody's got to have one. Somebody's got to have an Avalug table. Like, the reference has been made so many times by the community. It's, there's one. There's at least a tiny version of one somewhere. Little table. Scale it down. But that would be big. Let's see how much you weigh. Make an accurate sized table. Literally, you could have come with anything else, just ice we got from you, the Iceberg Pokemon. This Pokemon uses its massive icy body to flatten anything that gets in its way. When it's floating out on the ocean, it looks exactly like drift ice. It does. It's pretty cool. It's accurate. A thousand pounds? That is way too big. And that's not how tall you are. That's probably how long you are. Oh my goodness. Oh. Gardevoir? And Ralts? I've only ever seen a Curlia in this game. Hello. Wait, I want to catch the Gardevoir first. I don't want this to be another Gothitel situation where you end up running away from me out of nowhere. And I don't know if I want to synchronize you because you might also paralyze me. But wait, electric Pokemon can't be paralyzed. So will that ability even proc? We might find out we might not. And we don't have to because you got in the ball unless those... Ralts want to try to be difficult, but if seeing you go in the ball, they should just follow suit, you think? The Embrace Pokemon. It unleashes psychokinetic energy at full power when protecting a trainer it has bonded closely with. I much more prefer the Pokedex entry that says that you can create mini black holes, because that is very intriguing. Okay, and it's kind of like earth shattering or earth devouring in a way. Let me run into one of you little guys, you with your horn heads, just trying to headbutt people. You're like a mini version of the chainsaw man that's going around recently. I need to watch that. I haven't yet. A lot of people say it's cringe though, but maybe not. I don't know. Art is subjective. Anime is art, so anybody can see it any way they want, perceive it in any way they want. Pokemon are also getting up in levels. Mudsdale's like 77. I need them to be at like 85-ish. The feeling Pokemon. It is highly attuned to the emotions of people in Pokemon. It hides if it senses hostility. It sounds like me too there, guy. Oh, it's some flora. That's cool. We're near Ortega's base, the Team Star member guy. Oh, the little rich boy wearing all that drip. He doesn't even know what to do with it. And traveling around the ice mountains a lot just looking here and there and tithering y'all and trying and not finding a much anything for a little while there so i decided i'd move on to the next part next area it is move on to a nice sunny looking place some grass is greener on this side the sun pokemon since it converts sunlight and energy it is always looking in the direction of the sun you lied to me! I just saw it looking around it did a whole 360 before i even like look at this one it's not looking towards the sun, it's waving its head around, it's dangly neck, a little loose neck. A jump luff? Don't mind if I do. There you go, skip looms and hop ips, or not skip looms, jump luffs and hop ips would be hanging out. Because they don't know how to fly like skip looms do. They ain't got those big ears. Hey, 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 hanging out? No, you're supposed to hang out. Are we hanging out? Oh, we hanging now. They love it. The paralyzation into the ball. There you go. It ain't the paralyze into the dust ball. The PD is what I'm calling it now. Given the PD, you know exactly what they're in for. The cottonweed Pokemon. Beware its cotton spores. If you accidentally breathe them in, you'll be racked with coughs and itchiness. Good thing I don't get seasonal allergies. Didn't I see? Oh, yeah, right there. An ice skew right in your back. Did we startle you? Oh, yeah, we took you off guard, you little ice cube head. Now, here you are, quick ball. Oh, and dive balls are going to work on you because we're in and or on the water. One, two, what happened to the water? We can't be in and on the water if the water just vanishes. Immediately, it just gets scorched up. Did Groudon come here? Just eviscerate it all? Make water moves go away with that harsh sunlight? Oh, man. Penguin Pokemon, Ice Face. We've met two face Pokemon today. If you lick the ice covering its face, you'll find it has a faintly salty taste. This species rode here on ocean currents from a cold, faraway land. I thought it was going to say you were going to get, like, stuck to it. Oh, no. Like that scene where that one kid gets his 
his tongue stuck on a pole outside and they had to get an ambulance to take it off. He lost part of his tongue. No, thank you. What in the hell is happening right now? There's Pokemon spawning outside of the map. Good thing none of them are shiny, but what is going Why? Also, why are there so many? I don't know what to do right now. And then it's just Ice Q's running around having a good time as you're trying to- Don't come in this cave! Hey, there's a Noivern. I don't have one of those yet, and I don't really know where I am either. Where the heck am I? I've just been going- I've just been traveling up the coastline, mostly just mountain hanging out. There wasn't much at that other place we were at where Ortega likes to be, so... We just decided to keep on going. I know you can find blizzards there, but they're probably also very rare, and I don't know if it's worth, or if I should just do that, or, oh, what the frick? Can we just catch you so we cannot be destroying the game? I don't want to break the game. Oh, no. Please, 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 yes. We can get out of here. All oh, this camera angle sucks. I tried to move it, and nothing worked. At one point, you can just look straight at the ground. And nothing else, you don't get to see any Pokemon, it was terrible. Soundwave Pokemon. In the dark, even Hydreigon are terrified of this Pokemon. But in the light, Noivern is the one that avoids battles. Even Hydreigon fears you? That's redonk. Man, oh, the nighttime picture? That was a good picture. And does that mean we're not clicking B? Wait, why is it like this? Because, are we in such a messed up area that they did stuff like this just in case? Usually you just like, hey, what are you doing over there? And then they're just like, well, I'm evolving. And then they do their thing. You don't get a picture like this. This is actually kind of cool. I was, this is, I didn't, wait. I think I might have seen po one other Pokemon do this. Why does this happen though? What is the thing? A dragon Pokemon, wow. It becomes uncontrollable if it is enraged. It destroys everything with shredding claws and fire. Oh yeah, we love destruction. Oh, Alamomola. I saw something that said that this Pokemon was in the game, and I was like, yeah, right. I didn't see anybody with it, never saw it in this game. Just like Luminion and Finion. But they also, now that I'm thinking about it, might just be version exclusives. What are we doing again? Yeah, we throw a quick ball at you first. It's nighttime, and we're in the water. I forget which one's better, though, in this situation. Oh, no. That's right, you're paralyzed and in the water. The first eyeball I threw at it, it popped out immediately. Like, nothing even mattered in the world to it. It was, just wasn't having it, but we're all. We're making you have it. Oh, we got your... I don't want your mucus. Why do so many Pokemon give you their mucus? Carrying Pokemon. They float upon the open sea. Many water Pokemon gather in the area around Alamomola. Oh, it's got that nice weight. If you saw it, you know. Oh, there they are, like I was talking about it. And there they go. This is the first time I've ever seen them. A Finion and a Luminion. Oh, hopefully we can catch this one fast enough that the other one doesn't, like, despawn and run away. Because that would suck. Because this is the first time I've ever seen these things. All right, be rare spawns. Get in the ball, please. I'm asking you. I'm begging you. Yes. No, it's right over there to the left. We need to read your Pokédex. And then we need to get going and over there. Gimme, 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 gimme your skills. Oh, there's a Pelipper, wing fish, Pokemon. It absorbs sunlight with the pink areas of its skin, which then shine. This appears to be a form of camouflage. So it makes itself like reflective. So everybody's like, ah, my eyes, they don't want to look at it. That's not so much camouflage as just like avert your eyes. Wait, are you, wait, where did it go? Oh, it's right there. I got you. I got you. You ain't getting way, to, way for me. You know, I never thought about it like this, but is Luminion like a lionfish? Normally they have like a lot more like, like spines, but it kind of has the same basic shape. Or is it like an angelfish? I mean, I guess, but I think that one would be a little bit too on the nose. Just get in the ball. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. It put up a safeguard and then it attracted Dylan. I wasn't even able to paralyze it, but I believed in the power of the dive ball, and we've got it, the neon Pokemon. Luminion, swimming in the darkness of the deep sea, look like stars shining in the night sky. I like the sound of that. You know what that sounds like? That also sounds like bedtime, which means I'm getting out of here just because I feel like that's the end of the wrapping it up. We caught like 34-ish Pokemon today. Gotta look at my splendors of all the things I've done. Oh, yeah, we're getting it. We're at night on a beach. 
This this sounds like a good place where I would want to be. Lady, do you want to battle? No, I think I've been here before you. Let's just bask in it, relax in it. We get to see a bit of the snowy mountains. Would it be cold here or warm? I think it'd be a little bit cold, but you know what? It's whatever. I think I would enjoy it plenty. Yeah, it's definitely cold. There's a freaking giant-ass ice cube in the water. This ain't no drink. Okay, well, enough of me rambling. I do hope you enjoyed. I know I sure did. And if you did, remember these three things. You're beautiful. I appreciate you. And have a great one. Oh, bye bye